Hello and welcome to the Night Vision Show. In this week's episode, Tim talks about the PARD add-ons and how to fit them to your rifle. But first, Ashley takes a look at the brand new Infrared Gemini multi-spectral thermal imaging binoculars and takes them out on a stalk in the hills in Northern Ireland. Ashley here from Scott County International. Very excited today to be able to show you a new product that's just arrived on the market from Infrared. Uh, we've known about these since back in May when we got a first look at them. Uh, but officially we're allowed to show you today what they are. This is Gemini from Infrared. These are a thermal imaging binocular that I must say I am very, very excited to have, very excited to use um, and have been very privileged to be able to use them. These are the first pair in the whole of, uh, of the UK. Um, they're a 64512 sub 25 net D. Um, they have a built-in laser rangefinder, accurate out to 1200 meters. They have a detection range of 2,600 meters. They have a thermal imaging channel. They have an optical channel. They have a night vision channel. They come with an IR torch, giving you full night vision infrared capability. Uh, they also have fusion mode where they overlay the thermal image onto either the night vision mode or the optical mode. These do everything. They have picture in picture. You can look at thermal image, uh, and in the top corner you get an optical image. These these are so diverse. They can do practically anything that you want. You can have them set up in any way that you want. They are just they are just unbelievable. They really are. I am so so happy that they have brought these out. They are really easy to use. They've got these couple of e buttons here at the side for uh, focusing each individual channel. All in one pair of binoculars. So, I'm off out here this afternoon for a bit of a stock. Uh, with me today, I have the new infrared Gemini's thermal binoculars. I must admit, since I've got these, I've had a real good play with them. Been out and about the odd evening, but this is the first time that I've actually had them out stalking. Uh, so I'm going to give it a go. It's just, uh, it's going to be dark here probably in another couple of hours, so by the time I get around the mountain the uh, the different capabilities of these are really going to come into their own. So for example, I'm able to spot with the thermal channel on these, um, quickly switch to the optical channel to see what the heat source is, if it's deer or we have a lot of wild goat around here, uh, we've got some uh, farm animals and things as well. So this is going to really benefit me. When it, uh, when it comes to that. The 640 sensor in these, I must admit, is unbelievable. It really is sharp. I'm really, really impressed that it's easily, probably the most easily used thermal that I've actually used because of the uh, the two focus rings here on the, on the sides. The other great advantage to these is I have only one set of binoculars. In the past, what I've had to do is I've had to carry my thermal binoculars or thermal spotter along with a another pair of smaller binoculars uh, to try and find what the quarry was that I was looking for. Uh, especially useful these as well come with an infrared channel for nighttime where you can attach a infrared torch to the base of them and use them as full blown night vision uh, binoculars as well. So what these do um, it's just a game changer for everything that I want to use them for. So uh, hopefully we're going to bump into something here this afternoon and uh, and see what happens. So I've just slipped out of this wee copse of trees here in the far corner of the field I spotted a heat source with the, the Geminis. At this point in time generally I would be looking with my normal binoculars to be able to see exactly what it was um, but with these I was able to switch between the channel to the optical channel. Unfortunately at this time uh, it was just two hinds. Uh, I'm actually out here. Uh, it's stag season here uh, in Northern Ireland. 
so uh, we're going to have to give these a miss but it was really really good to be able to spot these with the thermal and then switch to the optical channel just to confirm uh, if it was a small pricket or actually a, a hind so the wind's getting up a wee bit here it's going to have to keep going and hopefully hopefully bump into something so unfortunately nothing showed here at the moment uh, the bit of ground that I have seen a few hinds uh, there was another group of hinds in through the rush this is a very rushy part of the world uh, so the deer have plenty of cover uh, so it's really good as I say using these to be able to spot the laser range find there in these as well is really really accurate um, there's a couple of heat sources there out on the hill um, that I thought from a distance here were uh, were deer but when I switched quickly to the optical channel I soon figured out they were sheep uh, it's not really known for deer to be in that area but I thought you know it's, it's worth a it's worth a chance to see what it was but again straight to the optical channel quick zoom in know exactly what they were the laser range finder here is accurate out to 1200 meters um, and these have a detection range of they say 2600 meters but I think that that I spotted those deer probably closer to uh, to 3000 where it was it's about three kilometers away it's away across a big sort of valley so yeah what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head back to the Jeep um, I'm going to get the IR torch onto these um, leave the gun in the Jeep because it's obviously it's, it's illegal to to stalk deer uh, at night time but because I manage this area for for deer I really want to see um, if there's anything about here this evening so I'm going to use the, the thermal and the, the infrared to see if I can figure out uh, what we have going on here on the ground and see what we have to cull here for this year these have to be the best thing that I have ever used so far um, there's nothing they can't do one simple button changes from each mode they're just they're what everybody has been asking for all along and Infrae have, have brought it out. Hi, right, Tim from Scott Country National. What I'm going to talk to you today about is how to fit your pod to your day scope, uh, whether this be the 007 or the new model that's just arrived with us, the 007 SP. This is the LRF version, now available on our website. So everything you need to get going is in the box. So it comes in the box with a nice little carry bag, some electrical tape, a set of Allen keys and some uh, rubber washers, some shims, it comes with the collar, and the device itself. Now, the easiest way I find to do this is get the collar, get that fitted onto your thing. Obviously if you need the, collar, uh, the spaces or some electrical tape just to keep that snug, then do so with the Allen key. Just take out all the slack that's in the top there and then lock the latch down and that's the, that's the collar fit and tight there on your eyepiece. Now, on the device, on the lens there, you'll have two uh, collars that are standing out proud and there's a small latch on the side there. So all you do is you take the device, you line it up on the bayonet fittings till it slides home and then twist it clockwise and it locks into place. That's the device good to go now. That's you set up, ready to rock and roll, having turned your day scope into a night scope with a laser rangefinder and built in IR. Additionally, you can add a, an additional IR on the top there on the Picatinny rail. So all you need to do to remove this, pull the little latch back at the back, twist it anti-clockwise, slide it out, and that's your scope back to a traditional day scope. You can leave the collars on, because once they're, once they're on, they're fitted and they don't obstruct you in any way, shape or form. And then you can just do it that way. So if you like this sort of content, please like, share and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to get notified when we release all our latest videos. Cheers.